what a beautiful morning to be out on a boat or really just in orange beach in general it is absolutely gorgeous this morning what is going on welcome back to another bama saltwater fishing video i am out with my brother today this is amber you've probably seen it before what's going on we're about to head out amberjack season is open and trigger fish is still open so we're going to go try our luck and see if we can catch a couple reef fish today they said it was going to be around two foot in the morning and then less than a foot throughout the day so it should flatten out nice there's barely any wind it's kind of like a north wind so we should have a very calm ride out so that's enough talking i like to make these intros short and sweet let's go run out in the beautiful gulf of mexico get to our fishing spot and we'll see if we can catch some fish this morning we're going to head out about 24 25 ish miles and see what we can do Well, we are positioned over our reef. It's 100 feet of water. Gulf of Mexico is pretty gradual. But the first thing I want to do is throw a popper. It's early in the morning. I want to see if I can catch a jack on this popper. All I have is a Yozuri Mag popper with some 60 pound fluorocarbon, 130 pound barrel swivel, and 40 pound braid. There we go. I think we need to get back over it. Oh my goodness, you see that? Oh, 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 right at the boat, right behind the boat. Oh man, he's gonna take me down in that structure. I don't, what was that, AJ? Mm. Mm. Gotta stop him. Ah. That was a big fish. Come on, do not want him to take me down. <laughs> I hope it's an amberjack. I think it is. Uh, man, it's got some weight to it, I'll tell you that. Stop, 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 stop. Mm. Broke that one off. Let's see if we can do that again. All right, Amrit might bring the first fish on board. Let's see what it is. He's bottom fishing with what, squid? Amrit just caught the first one that we're putting in the box. So this is a lane snapper. Beautiful fish, they only have to be eight inches. Those taste delicious. Anything with snapper in its name is good. So we'll throw that one in the cooler. Good job, man. Amrit's hooked into something pretty good. Let's see what he has. I think it's a trigger fish. Trigger. Keeper? Maybe. That might keep. All right, Amrit just landed the first legal trigger of the day. So we had to move around and find some, but check that out. Beautiful fish, that's gonna taste so good. We're gonna throw it on ice and let it chill. Good job, man, what do you end up eating? Cigar minnow. You can never go wrong fishing a cigar minnow. So, beautiful fish, that's what we've been after. Heck yeah, man, good job. So Amrit's doing a lot better contribution to the ice box than I am this morning. I had a nice amberjack on, I actually had a few, and just, I suck at fighting them. So, <laughs> we're seeing them come up. If I get on the popper, it's gonna be hard. I'm gonna toss that popper at him. Oh, it's right here. Oh, come on. Right by the boat. Right by the boat. Come on. <laughs> the hook keeps on coming out of him. He's right here though. Uh, hopefully the third time's a charm on it. Uh, come on. <laughs> come on, buddy. I think he got sharked or something. I don't know. Yeah, that thing might have got sharp. Maybe, maybe not. We 
decided to come back in. We were getting our butts whooped by the AJs. Just couldn't seem to get them up. I would either pull the hook or if I let it give a little bit, it'd take me down in the reef. So don't worry, we'll have more chances to get after them. We did have Amrit's nice trigger fish and that lane snapper that Amrit caught. So he was able to bring back some groceries. Me on the other hand was just losing fish and losing money. So it is what it is, but at least we can get out and enjoy the beautiful water. Hey, it's another beautiful morning. I am out again on the boat. Yesterday, my brother and I went out. Hammer beat me yesterday. He was able to bring back some good fish. I just, just, I just lost every fish I hooked. So I'm gonna go try to get redemptions. I'm gonna see if I can get at least one amberjack on top water. Try to make it short and then head back in. So it's a beautiful morning. Let's get out there in the Gulf and do some fishing. before i stop at the reef i want to fish i cannot resist trolling along this weed line like we have a very distinct weed line right here so and i don't really have anything fancy tied up i just had this x wrap in case i saw something that i needed to sight cast to but this is more than suitable for trolling so it's just a very simple setup with 43 pound single strand wire haywire twisted to a small black barrel swivel and then i'm just trolling with the spinning setup not ideal but hey, it should get the job done. This is just too irresistible to not troll this long weed line. It looks like it goes for like a mile. We're in 100 feet of water, so that'd be awesome if we could pick up a mahi or even a king. Hey, some form of pelagic fish to bloody up the gaff. I didn't plan on trolling, otherwise I would have had a whole lot more trolling setups. I'm just going to toss this behind me. So let's set this rod back here in the rod holder see what we can hook into today there is a nasty little thunderstorm right there hopefully it dies off before it comes this way rainbow and a water spout forming right there we may have to do some out running and out gunning here in a second but this weed line's going a long way and it's got birds all over it These birds are going crazy over something. Don't know what. Ooh. Oh, I got something. Oh, what do I have? Okay. Okay. Fish on, buddy. Fish on this morning. There we go. <laughs> Let's see what we have this morning. Ah, oh, came off. Dad gummit. Came off. Let's try that again. I did not expect that. I was trying to keep an eye on that water spout. Oh, there's stuff blowing up everywhere. Oh, they're hitting it. Those look like a little chicken dolphin. Those are little mahi mahi. Just little ones though. Well, that was cool seeing a little chicken dolphin. I know y'all probably couldn't see it, but I got to go off this weed line and move out a few more miles. That, that storm's getting uncomfortably close. As you can see, the GoPro doesn't do it justice, but that is a giant water spout. Oh my goodness. Come back to this weed line. I know where it is, so we just need this storm to pass and hopefully it's not too bad, but it looks pretty dark gray over there. It's very clear here, so we're going to have to head east. And there's another water spout forming. There was one there, that one dissipated. The rainbow's still there, but that water spout's about to form. The funnel cloud's coming down quick. And all water spouts are, if you've never seen them, it's literally just a tornado, but over water. So once they get on land, they dissipate. But out here, they gain a lot of strength. We're gonna move away from there as much as we can. <laughs> I'm out here. I cannot take this risk though. This is a bad storm coming through. It's so flat ahead of the storm, but we're about to be in lightning and rain. So I got to pick up and head back. I got enough fuel. I don't, I'm going to have to spend that fuel to uh, head back in because I don't want to be stuck out here in bad weather. I didn't got a line out. We're right above the reef. There's bait everywhere. I wonder if I could do this real quick. <laughs> Oh, oh, they're all over it. 
Oh my goodness, big AJs, huge AJs. Oh, and a big shark down there too. Oh man, shark's falling right behind it. Oh, there's one, there's one. <laughs> oh, shark's gonna get him, shark's gonna get him. Shark's gonna, oh, I think the shark got him. I think the shark got it. Ah. Ah. Pretty sure that's what happened. Maybe not. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get their head turned. Get that head turned. <laughs> uh, 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 he's wearing me down. Oh, he got me in there. He got me in there. Yep. Shoot. Those were big. I'm just asking to get broken off again. Just asking for trouble. Oh, they're after it. They're after it. Got it, got it, got it. Got him. Uh, got him. Get his head. Got him. Uh, come on. Get up. Uh, got it. Got it. Oh. Uh, get up. Get up. Uh, get your butt up. <laughs> Y'all are going to make fun of me, I know. I hear the comments right now. But I am trying my best to get this fish up. Uh, I do not want to lose it. Uh, got him. Shoot! <laughs> he ain't a keeper. He ain't a keeper, but I got one. Uh, actually, let's see if he's going to be. I finally got one. It wasn't the big one. That's why I was able to get it up. So I need to get it back. It is not a keeper for it to not meet the size limit. So let's get it. Let's get it back before this dolphin eats it. Come on. Head first. And it's down. Hopefully it'll outswim that dolphin. Woo! Okay, I have to go in. Oh man, there goes Flipper after it. I think it made it though. I think it made it. I just wanted one. Y'all can make fun of me in the comments the way I fought that fish, but I had to get it up in a hurry. And the only reason I got it in was because it was a little bit smaller one. <laughs> the big one, I hooked a big one pretty much when I first threw this popper out this morning. And dang, did that joker just go straight down and the shark was after it. It's like a lose-lose. Goal accomplished though, goal accomplished. Get an AJ on deck. Big one? Not really. Did it wear me out? Yes, it did. <laughs> and there's so much more down there. Look at all those marks. Daggum. But I have to go, safety over anything. So let's head back closer and maybe we can go up on some closer bridge rubble or something. Woo, I'm out of breath. <laughs> it doesn't take long for the conditions to turn bad, so we're getting out of here before it gets worse. Woo, it's gonna be a little wet. <laughs> All right, let me put up the camera and get to driving. All right, my screen's pretty dirty, but I just came from there, pretty much where that rainbow is, if y'all can see it. Came in just a little closer and near some other boats I can actually see, because I had nobody around me. Probably for obvious reasons. Just have a double drop chicken rig or bottom rig tied up. And then I need to let my squid thaw. That's what you want to see when you're bottom fishing. The screen lit up like that. Most of the bigger fish, like that one right there and all these, are usually your bigger red snapper and AJs. Then a lot of your smaller snappers hang down closer to the reef for triggers and all that. Or on the edges. See how we're sitting on the edge? I'm going to put on a couple pieces of cut cigar minnow. That's what my brother caught his big trigger on yesterday so let's drop that down this is a little bit more relaxing than uh <laughs> going after aj's on top i'm just so glad i got one in it's been a long time since i've called amberjack and it's usually on bigger stuff or jigging in deeper water oh yeah there's a bite come on oh good bite too there's one Let's see what you are. Is that another? Oh, hey, 
I'll take that any day of the week. Oh man, look at the dolphin. Good lord. I will take a mangrove snapper anytime. You're not getting my fish, dolphin. Look at that. It wants to get my fish. There's two of them. <laughs> He's waiting for it. You're not getting it. But check that out. Beautiful mangrove snapper. He's going in the cooler. Those are delicious. There's a fish. Mm. Come on, get up. <sighs> bee liner. Good bee liner, too. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's a solid bee liner. Oh, check that out. This is a vermilion snapper. These are great to eat. That is awesome. He's going to go join our mangrove snapper today. All right, at least I'm bringing something home. See, and there's another one. Uh, gotta keep it away from these dolphins. It's a little bit bigger fish. Not quite for sure what it is yet. Mm. It's pulling some drag though. <laughs> it's fun catching them on the light tackle. This is that toadfish rod. They're cool enough to sponsor the channel. Let's see. And that is a red snapper. Can't do anything with him, so he's got to go back. All right, red snapper. Here you go. So this is a 3,000 size toadfish carbon elite with a seven foot two inch medium heavy rod. Works perfect for this scenario. Just using a little double drop rig. I love light tackle reef fishing, it's fun. Back on the bottom. Oh yeah, something's nibbling. Hooked up again. They're liking the squid. <laughs> Dang. Not quite for sure what that is either, but it could be another red the way it's pulling. <clears throat> Go ahead, get it up. Another red snapper. No, another big bee liner. Heck yeah, dude. These are the size that you want. You know, they're worth getting a fillet off of. Look at that thing compared to my arm. <laughs> That's awesome, y'all. Let's get throw it in the cooler. Well, I'm about to head in, so I got what I wanted. I finally called an amberjack on this boat, so, and on top water, <laughs> which is always fun no matter what you catch. That was really fun and exciting. The boat beside of me hooked a really nice mahi. I had a, uh, cigar minnow out on a flat line and didn't have any takers but i saw a bunch of chicken dolphin this morning because the but that storm just kind of threw off my plans beautiful water today absolutely gorgeous looks like destin look at that wow we're coming in the past so i'm going to focus on that and i'll see y'all in a bit i'm going to go ahead and clean these fish so we can have some fresh fillets check this out y'all these are beautiful fish so we have our lane snapper mom speckled trout my bee liners i caught today mangrove snapper or gray snapper and then you have the gray trigger fish so these are absolutely delicious i've already shown you how to do bee liners and mangrove snapper they're pretty easy same thing with the lane let's go ahead and get into this trigger fish real quick i do have my sword seven inch fillet knife so trigger fish have a really big head they call them a trigger fish, which you've seen this probably multiple times. I've showed this a lot on my video, but if you have not, their front dorsal fin is very stiff. You cannot press that down. I am pressing down pretty hard. Can't press it down. So it has a trigger to get down right there. So see, that's why they call them trigger fish. Then you can press that dorsal fin and it sits nice and flush. If I was to guess, I may be wrong. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to stay really stiff in case they try to get eaten by something bigger than them. It stays stiff and maybe they'll lodge in that throat of whatever's trying to eat them and maybe they can survive. I'm not for sure, but it kind of makes sense. So I don't know. And then they have some serious munchers on them. Check out those teeth. <laughs> you do not want to stick your finger in a trigger fish's mouth or snapper and most saltwater fish. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and clean it. The fillet is going to be right here. This is our fillet. They have tough skin. Sometimes a serrated knife helps. I always like to start out behind that pectoral fin and then I make a slice down. So just like anything else, go along their dorsal and fillet that meat right off. Take your time, try not to miss any. There we go. They have a very good tasting meat. Get through their rib cage. 
All right. Now, I always leave a little bit of skin towards the tail just so I can skin the meat a lot easier. So watch this. You have the weight of the fish. And then that meat should slide right off that skin. Now we have a beautiful trigger fish fillet. Now you want to go through and trim out that red meat on any fish. That dark red meat is not going to taste good. So go ahead and trim that out. That's some muscle meat right there. And then they do have a little bit of pin bone, so we'll cut that out. Or you can take like a nail clipper style tool to remove the pin bones, but I normally just cut it out. And now we have a beautiful trigger fish fillet. Like I said, they're mostly head. Unfortunately, you can only keep one, but at least we were in season and Amrit was able to catch one and bring it back. So now we have some nice meat. Well, all these are clean. Look at that. That's a hefty bag of fish. So I kind of remember which ones were which. I know the trigger fish is pretty obvious. So if you know me well, you know I love cooking outside. I just think it's awesome being able to enjoy the beautiful view. And so we're gonna be cooking on the Blackstone. Well, I'm a pretty simple person. So, and I think with fresh fish like we have here, we have all our snapper, the trigger fish, and then mom's speckled trout that she caught, you know, off video. You shouldn't have to cover up fresh fish with a bunch of seasoning but you can do whatever seasoning you like because everyone's different everyone's taste buds are different and their opinions are different so for me i'm going to keep it simple i have some unsalted butter salt and pepper and then some all-purpose seasoning along with some extra virgin olive oil you mix a little bit of evoo in your butter it won't burn since i'm cooking a bunch of fish i'm going to drop down one stick of unsalted butter and we'll let that melt and get ready to put our fish on there all that excess butter I'm gonna kind of put on the grease drain. You know, like I said, we're just trying to sear our fish. We're not trying to boil it in butter. Now we're gonna set our trigger fish down. All right, now let's go to the speckled trout that mom caught. And these are all skinless, boneless fillets. And now the combination of the bee liners, the mangrove snappers, and that lane snapper that my brother caught. Now that we have all our fish down, I'm gonna do the seasoning. So I'm gonna salt all of them. And then some ground black pepper. And then lastly, we're gonna take our all-purpose seasoning and cover it up. And I'm just doing one side. That's it. These are all pretty delicate meat. You don't have to cover them up with a whole bunch of stuff. Now it's gonna take about two to three minutes per side depending on what heat you have it at. I have it about medium high heat. These are thin fillets, they don't take very long, but they are gonna be absolutely delicious. <laughs> they smell so good. So it's been about two and a half minutes or so. We're gonna start flipping the first ones we put on there. Oh man, look how good that looks. Heck yeah, that's perfect. You don't wanna burn your stuff. And the last one to flip. Well, it's been about two and a half minutes on the other side as well. So it's time to pick them up and put them on a plate. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So snappers on one side and then the trigger fish is pretty obvious. That's the one I'm definitely gonna try because I haven't tried trigger fish on the channel before, but I've tried everything else on video. That is an awesome variety of fish that just came fresh out of the Gulf of Mexico. What a treasure to have that. Well, I got a piece of trigger fish on the plate. Let's try a bite. Look how beautiful that meat is. That's super white, super flaky. Perfectly cooked too. Here we go. <laughs> That's delicious. Oh wow. That is amazing. I'm wanting you another know bite because that is, that is some good fish. Mm -hmm. It is seasoned perfectly and it has that nice crispy grilled side to it that is just awesome. I could eat this whole plate, so you can't get any fresher than that. But we're gonna go ahead and close out this video so we can get to eating. The yellow flies are biting us up out here, but it is absolutely beautiful, and we have some fresh fish to chow down on. If you enjoyed this content and you have not subscribed yet, at the end of this video, I appreciate it if you go hit that subscribe button, and it allows you to keep up with some awesome content like this and allows the channel to grow so we can put out more. And if you already are subscribed, I appreciate you as always. You're all awesome for supporting the channel and watching these adventures because they're fun, but it's definitely challenging to film 
film, fish, cook, and all that, but it makes it very fun and exciting to be able to share what I do with y'all. We will see you on the next Bama Saltwater Fishing video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us, and we'll see you later.